Amphorius, the eternal land. Yeah, that's what Miss Black Swan said. It's a world hidden away from outside observation, with a presence only revealed by the light from the mirror of the Garden of Recollection. It's mysterious, all right. You haven't been with us on the Express very long. Will the journey be too much for you to handle? Huh? Has it been that long? We should consider Pom Pom's opinion, too. They don't know we're considering Amphorius as a destination. Yeah! Plus, even if we pass Amphorius over, we've still got a fuel problem to solve. In other words, we won't be leaving Penaconi anytime soon. Or we could also revisit our previous stops to make sure that the astral charts and navigation routes are all functioning fine. I wonder if the hole in the Tychean Stadium has been repaired. Creating chaos is also a means of maintaining social stability, if you ask me. If you have the time for mindless gossip, you're probably better off spending it on getting actual work done. Hmm. They say this is all part of ongoing investigations. But is there even any point to doing this? The threat's long been neutralized. They're just putting on a show. I mean, look at us. This sudden surge in inter-family cooperative efforts. It's nothing but a pretense for those outsiders, isn't it? Sounds like you've got insider intel. No, I'm curious. Are the stories going around true? Was the furor that broke out a while ago really a result of trouble within the Oak family? Those are some difficult questions. Didn't I just say that creating chaos is also a means to maintaining social stability? Now, who knows who's been fanning the flames? But there are a dozen rumors going around out there, each one more outlandish than the last. Oh, I've heard those. Conspiracy theories about how the IPC had orchestrated everything and... Uh, what was it again? That the chaos was only quelled because of an accident? Ah, it makes no sense. So what's the lowdown? Well, the truth has probably been long buried under all the hearsay. All I can say for sure is that someone's taken the rap for it. You mean, the former Oak family head? Bingo. Most of the blame was pinned on him when the Charmony Festival was abruptly cancelled. Since then, not a single soul's seen him. Heck, forget his whereabouts. Nobody even knows if he's still alive. Talk about scary. For all we know, we might have watched something go down in history, like what happened to the Black Plum family back then, without even realizing it. I've heard another theory about that family head, though. I beg your pardon, sirs. Dreamweavers are carrying out inspections on the routes around here. And all affected facilities have been closed off. Kindly take a detour in the meantime. What happened? 
Is this because of the Stellaron? Jeez, are we Pentaconians never gonna dream in peace again? There is no cause for alarm, sir. The Stellaron has already been seen. This is just a routine inspection. A move to heighten security, if you will. Please rest assured that the family will do everything in our power to protect the sweet dreams of every guest. I see. We'll leave the two of you to your work, then. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Have we met before? Oh. Do you recall when or where we might have met? Uh... My bad. I must be mistaken. Sorry about that. Sweet dreams to both of you, sirs. You sure have a knack for stirring up trouble. Of all the routes available, you had to take the one that Bloodhound's keeping watch over. We shouldn't run into any problems with you around. Even if they see through the Harmony's power of disguise, there'll be a way for us to escape. Spare a thought for me, will you? Just being in your company is plenty enough to get me into trouble, Mr. Prime Fugitive of Penacony. And that is exactly why I need you with me. You're the only one I can rely on in Penacony now. <laughs> the only one you can rely on, huh? What about her? <sighs> At least, she was spared from the consequences of my actions. What a shame, huh? Why do you say that? Just thought that being mean might be more effective than consoling you. I've seen plenty like you, eager for everyone to take you to task after a setback because that's the only way you'll feel better. As though the more they condemn you, the more likely you can rectify your mistake. That said, if I'd really wanted to hit you where it hurts, I'd use a different approach. Like a show of sympathy, for example. <sighs> You're right. I won't deny that. She should still be in Penacony. Aren't you going to look for her? That won't be necessary. I'm sure you already know why, considering your vested interest in reading my thoughts. I can't bring myself to see her when I'm a fugitive. I see two bloodhounds. They appear to be on official business, unlike the pair from earlier. What's happening at Idine Park? Hey! Hey! In case you didn't notice, I can't see anything. My apologies. I forgot that you're not very tall. <sighs> Remind me. Why do I have to make this trip with you again? We've been through this. You're the only one I can turn to now. Besides, we once lived a cat and dog existence. Embroiling you in my affairs won't weigh on my conscience. You certainly don't have much of one if you can bring yourself to say something like that. Yet you will repay this favor all the same. After all, you're only alive today because of me. You owe me that much. Holy moly! Can you get any more conceited? When you were abandoned in the wild and near your end, I showed you a way to survive and helped you escape the jaws of death. When you were at your wit's end and felt lost about your future, I did everything within my power to help you safeguard your position in the family. Okay, okay, I get it already. You have a way with words, I'll give you that. Still, it's one thing to repay a favor. Quite another to knowingly put myself in harm's way. 
I don't understand. Why are you hell-bent on going back to Panacone? Is this an IPC mission? Did they make you a deal? You can have your freedom back, but in return you must turn against all whom you once called family or something like that? Regrettably, Lady Bonajade didn't drop so much as a hint about it. Go now. You are free, O oh Chosen One, who dare to exceed his bounds. Sever your wings, descend to the mortal realm, and walk their lands. See what this world is truly like. I will not accept your charity. As I mentioned earlier, it's a trade, and you don't have to give me an answer right now. Rewards are not reaped in a day, and if there's one thing I'm best at, it's waiting. The sweet dream still continues, and the night is still long. You have plenty of time to contemplate your answer. She only left me with a most intriguing message before setting me free. As for whether I can afford the price of my freedom, I'll only know when I find out what it is. But nothing good ever comes out of being in the IPC's debt. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. For now, there's still some time before that payment is due. So why not exercise the right to freedom that I've just regained? <sighs> by walking straight into a trap? Or by making amends for past deeds. When it's time to go, this will be farewell for good. So, before I leave Panacone, I'd like to take some time to look back on all the events that have taken place. Can't you just look back on it from a distance? There's something else I want to do, too. The embryo of philosophy may have fallen, but the order in Panacone wasn't built in a day. This sweet dream is likely to still contain residual traces of the Oak family's influence. Get off your high horse. The other four families are more than capable of working things out on their own. I might have gone astray, but others shouldn't have to clean up after my mistakes. Then you should also know that the IPC isn't gonna help you a second time. If you fall into the family's hands again, you're done for. You know how it is. Old habits die hard. The tie should be on the center line. The shirt must not protrude from the vest. Trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. We should always ensure that everything is in order before walking out the door. The same applies when bidding my home farewell, too. But what has Ideen Park got to do with you? Don't tell me that the Founder is one of your disguises. <sighs> Sorry, but park facilities are out of order. Refurbishment works are currently underway. Please come back again later. That sounds familiar. <sighs> I'm aware of the situation. You can skip the report. What? What are you talking about? I mean... Mr. One Week. Please excuse me, I should have recognized you earlier. I must be more tired than I realized. I want to know what's going on in there. You'll tell me, won't you? Uh, there's nothing much to say, actually. We bloodhounds are just as baffled as you are. My guess is that it's simply part of the aftermath of the Stellaron incident. Aftermath? Uh, you are? Renowned workaholic. Mr. Workday. He works for me. You don't know him? Oh, I see. Pardon my ignorance, sir. Coming back to the topic of the park, let's just say that it has been recently observed that certain behaviors are not tolerated around here. What happens if you violate the prohibitions? It's baffling, but... Corrective measures will be taken. It's kind of difficult to explain. Maybe you'd like to see for yourself? Yeah, that works. Can you keep watch over the entrance? We'll go in and have a look for ourselves. Please take these notes with you. They may come in handy. He 
You shouldn't have said that just now. It'll only make us look suspicious. Said what? Mr. Workday? <laughs> I was just telling the truth. I've always found this name to be more suitable for you. So, why are we here? You managed this park before? You could say that. I was still a child back then. To become the bronze Melodia of the Oak family, I'd gone under Mr. Gopherwood's tutelage. We were taking a walk in the park like any other day, when he suddenly hit on the idea to have me manage the park. Within the domain he demarcated, my every word would hold the force of law. In hindsight, that was probably the first time that I enforced order. You rose through the ranks soon after. I take it that you must have done a pretty good job? Quite the contrary. I made a terrible mess of things. Fortunately, the tourists thought of it as nothing more than a spell of merrymaking. Was that his way of training you? Perhaps he was just using an approach with lighter consequences to show me what he'd learned in life. That there is never an ideal paradigm when it comes to rules. If the Enforcer is incapable of introspection, then even regulations once laid down with the noblest of intentions will eventually become defiled. This place is no exception. The distorted after-echoes of the Order will only add to the chaos. Let's see what we have on these notes. No consumption of food except for burgers. What? No consumption of food other than burgers, especially ice cream. Please tell me you didn't make this rule. I have nothing against desserts. The only reason I made that rule is so that people can learn to wait in line in an orderly manner for things, instead of shoving and jostling people around. What happens if I break the rule? It's as the Bloodhound said. Corrective measures will be enforced. Huh. <laughs> Try me. Wait, don't... Ah. <laughs> so, where are those corrective measures? That's odd. Didn't I tell ya? The family can take care of the issue without you having to get involved. Next on the list is the stage. Let's go and check it out. Only cast and crew members are allowed on a stage. Hmm. A surprisingly reasonable rule. And an easy one to test. Neither of us is part of the cast or a crew member. Let's try it out. Huh? Let's try that again. What's going on? Guide those who have lost their way back onto the right path. Looks like this is an example of the corrective measures that the Bloodhound mentioned. It's exactly what I would have done back then. You've been iron-fisted since you were little, haven't you? Wait a sec. If... if this is how violations are corrected, then... everything that I ate just now? I tried to warn you. How do you feel? Now? I'm feeling murderous. In any case, say what you will, but I can't sit by and do nothing. Not when I'm the cause of all this trouble in Idine Park. There's no need to involve the Dreamweavers. I'll fix these distortions once and for all. What's the plan? Nothing complicated. All distortions have their roots. We'll be 
be able to trace them to the source once they manifest. Breaking a few rules will do. We just need to make sure that the corrective measures that will be implemented aren't too much for us to handle. When a distorted after echo manifests to correct us, I'll be able to pinpoint its whereabouts. Then, I'll use the power of tuning to heal the dreamscape. So, can I take it that rules are meant to be broken now? Do not discard trash in trash cans. This is absurd. Did you make this rule too? <sighs> Children tend to be fascinated by such paradoxes. I was no exception. Forget it. I don't even know how to joke about this. Well, what do you suggest we throw in? Uh, something's happening. Cutter's trash can? We're not breaking enough rules. We should look elsewhere, too. Please do not use Soul Glad bottle caps sold by the Dream Jolt Troop while experiencing the attractions. The Dream Jolt Troop, where? Are they hiding or something? Good hiding spot, didn't ya? Come on, let's buy some bottle caps from it. Just one moment. <laughs> Let me translate that for you. Who are you trying to pay with your spare change? Ugh. I'm afraid you're going to have to handle this if it isn't enough. Handle this? Handle what? Wait, is that really all you've got on you? May I remind you that I am currently on the run? <laughs> Luck's on our side. Looks like we scraped together just enough. Shall we give this capsule machine a try and see what happens? Nothing's off so far. Maybe we should open the capsule? Uh, they can't be seriously going that far, right? No, no, no. Hey, look out! It's better to make no move. More season. <laughs> Stand still. Your manners. Receive divinity. Destiny's hand. I like adding truly blessed. More sheet. Why not have a meal before you leave? Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Oh, did 
they have to do that? They could have just recalled the capsule. Perhaps making the attractions no longer just attractions is another corrective measure? Ugh. Aren't the rules being too finicky with words? Enough. The location of the distortion is nearby. You. Time for it to disappear for good. Reveal thyself unto me, as is customary. All creatures endowed with eyes bear souls of equal worth. Whoa, it worked. The IPC totally should have sent someone to keep an eye on you. Aren't they worried that you might make a comeback in Panacone and grow a new pair of wings? So long as there remains a need for me to keep a low profile, I'm no threat to them. That's true. Come to think of it, you had always been in the spotlight, be it as a respected member of the elite or a leader. When was the last time you fell into the mud? All the way back during your childhood days? <laughs> Sometime before I turned six. Like most boys would, I tried to fly with my ear feathers, only to fall into a pit. I almost broke my halo. That was sarcasm, in case you didn't realize. But whoa, you actually remember something like that? You never forget times of failure. It's only human nature. Ugh, you're probably the only one who'd consider something like that a failure. Is it this time? Just looking back. But nothing's there. That's the whole point of revisiting a place. When I look at everything here, the memories are so fresh, it's as if it all only happened yesterday. When the younger me tasted failure here, I ran myself ragged to fix the mess. I thought myself no longer the same person as before, but it looks like I was just going round in circles. I'm glad for this chance to look back on my past in this way. Come now, we should go. This will be a long farewell. Mall. There are bloodhounds stationed along the way, though. It might be better to take a quieter route. I don't mean to meddle, but I'd advise you to stay away from that place. Did something happen? There isn't any concrete information yet, but anomalies have been reported around the area. The family is currently investigating. You okay? I'm fine. The Stellaron incident may have been quelled, but who is to say that nobody has another agenda? Thanks for the tip, sir. We'll make a detour. May you stay safe, too. Hold on.
Sweet dreams are technically safe, but it would be wise to look out for oncoming vehicles. <sighs> Thank you. was no ordinary passerby. It's a miracle that he didn't see through your disguise. The Astral Express should have departed a long time ago. Why is he still in Pentagoni? We needn't change our plans because of him. But be sure to keep your guard up. I hope nothing terrible has fallen upon Pentagoni while I was in captivity the last few days. Seems I let my wishful thinking get the best of me. Will you at least give me a chance to explain? I will, but before I do... Put your hands behind your back and answer my questions in short sentences. Short sentences? I need to make sure your words aren't concealing any dangerous incantations. I can't believe I've left everyone with such a peculiar impression of me. Please, believe me when I say that I didn't come back here with ill intent. Panacone will never experience the Order again, either. I'm afraid I won't be taking your words at face value, not after how you wielded the power of Harmony. Answer me. What are you doing here? Looks like there's only one way to gain your trust. Come on out, one week. We found ourselves an ally. So, it was the IPC that freed you. My sister has likely made an agreement of some sort with them. As for how I'm able to move around freely in Panacone, I have one week to thank for that. As you can see, I've only returned to my home to bid it farewell. Would you be kind enough to give me a chance to say goodbye, so that I may leave without regrets? Hmm. Agreed. But, until you leave Penacone for good, you're to stay by my side. You have my gratitude. I left my home in a hurry, too. I know how it feels. That said, I can't make this call by myself. My companions need to know about this, too. The Astral Express crew is in Panacone, too? Come with me. We'll go find them. You come along, too. Okay, okay. Boy, this is gonna be a party. Here. They should be somewhere nearby. Mr. Yang, if you don't mind, there's something that puzzles me. Now that the crisis on the planet of festivities has been averted, shouldn't the Astral Express have departed to continue on its trailblazing journey? Why have you and your companions stayed behind in Pentecone? Could it be that someone stirred up trouble after I left? And if that were indeed the case? I doubt I'm in any position to be proposing ideas, but I'm happy to defer to the Nameless and aid with any plans you may have. There's no need to worry. All is well in Panacone. Our reason for lingering here is a certain unusual passenger. A passenger? The Express has been commissioned to send a passenger back home. We're just resting up in Penacone for a while before we depart. Hmm? By passenger, do you mean this lady here? Uh, or... These ladies?
です。